Welcome guys to the tutorials on the graphics calculator. Most of you will have the current calculator which is the AU style. You might have a, an older calculator. Um, I think the only real difference is in how the fraction buttons, um, how, how the fractions are presented. Um, in the newer models which is um, the AU models, the fractions will come up as an actual fraction. So for example if I want to put a half in there I press my 1 over 2, you can see it actually comes up as a fraction as opposed to the older ones which will go 1 comma 2. Um, so you just have to have uh, play around with your particular calculator but I think most of you have this newer model anyway. Okay, so welcome to your um, graphics calculator FX9860AU+. Um, look, basically you'll be using this uh, quite extensively during the general course. Um, one of the very first things you need to make sure that you do is that you set up your calculator for the right methods. There's not too many things that you need to make sure of, um, okay, but there's a few things. So when you turn your calculator on, you come up to the main menu. You can navigate around the main menu by pressing the, uh, the navigational um, arrow tools. If you want to go into a particular um, format um, section, you can press the EXC, which means enter or, or equals. You'll also see there's a little one, two, three. You can press one, two, or three to correspond with that. So I could press enter or I could press one. And that run mode is my normal calculator method. Now, the first thing you want you want to do when you have a graphics calculator is you want to check it that it's in the right modes. And when you go into an exam, often they will actually um, reset your calculator. So you need to make sure of this every time. So you can see in yellow, um, it says set up. And we want to make sure that we set this up to begin with. So we're going to press shift. That gets us all the yellow writing on all the, all the keys set up. And you'll see it has a whole pile of options. Now what we want to do is, is go down um, to where it says angles. You'll notice that it says RAD which stands for radians. But then it brings up a couple of other options. Degrees, radians and GRA which stands for gradients. Now when we're measuring angles we will only ever use degrees. It needs to be in degrees for all trigonometry or angle questions. So F1 corresponds with that little button there. So we press F1 and you'll notice it turns to degrees. You must make sure that that happens every time because it can really um, stuff around with your, your answers. Um, we're going to keep on going down. The only other one that I, I particularly like to see um, is for the display. And now this is a personal preference, but I like having norm 2. So I'm going to go to F3, which corresponds with norm. I'm just going to press it a second time, and it goes to norm 2. just helps me um, with my answers. They will come out as, as decimals, um, not as fractions. Okay, I can press exit. If any time you want to get out of a screen, um, just try either pressing exit or pressing menu. One of those two will, will sort of come up with what you want. Now for the most part, um, Obviously, you've been using scientific calculators. Your run mode um, will be your scientific calculator. So if I'm doing normal calculations, like 8 times 9, okay, that it comes up on the screen. If I do 6 plus 3, well, sorry, in this case, I want to do 6, 6 plus 3, okay, you'll notice that the, the data that I'm putting in um, it goes down the screen. Now you might not like that, you might want to just have a fresh screen for each question. If that's the case, we want to press this delete key. Now these options here, jump, delete, math and math, okay, they correspond with your F1, F2, F3, F4 key. So if I want to delete, I'm going to press F2, it gives me an option to delete the last entry or all the entries, I'm going to press all the entries and it just asks me to confirm for F1, so I'm going to press yes. Um, so basically, I mean, that's pretty much just like normal calculator. You have, obviously, you can see your, your squared buttons. So if I want to do 8 squared, okay, it brings up automatically. Um, if you want to do 8 cubed, you can see there's no a cube, X cubed button there. So I can press 8 the, to the power of, which is that little arrow. And you'll notice it brings up a little box there. So you can type in 3 if you want to cube it or to the power of 4 or 5, whatever you want to do. Um, if you want a square root, you can see got the little square root um, button there. So we can do square root of 64. Okay. You can even do, um, if you want to do the cube root, you can see that's the cube root there, or it gives you a little box. So you can do, put the little three in there for the cube root. If you ever need to get across to another box, just press the cross arrow. We might do the cube root of eight. Okay. And it brings up the answer of two. Um, you got your brackets there, just as usual. Now, sometimes you might get a, a, an answer. For example, I might do 8 divided by 9. 
okay you might get that as a decimal or it might come up as a fraction if you ever you want to change between a decimal and a fraction um, you'll see this FD key which means fraction to decimal just press that and it changes in and out of fractions to decimals um, also you'll see your fraction key here you'll notice with uh, as I explained earlier on with the uh, with the newer calculators it will actually present itself as a fraction so if I want to put a half I need to put the one there I go down to the to the bottom one I can press 2 if I want to do any more calculations like I might do a half plus another fraction we need to press a cross before we do the plus okay so I press equals and it comes up as a half if I want that as a decimal again we can press the fraction decimal key sometimes you might want to put a a mixed number in there so let's say one and a half you'll notice that above the fraction key you'll have the little yellow um, boxes there which mean mixed numbers so if I press shift and my fraction keys you'll see I now I have the options to type in one and a half so I'm going to put one there for my whole number and then press across and then down to put my half in there enter um, you can see it comes up as three over two again I can put my fraction to decimal which which changes that for me um, yeah that's basically it I can press also um, sorry delete there um, yeah okay so that, that's, that's that's quite nice also if I want to put that as a mixed number on my actual screen if I press shift fraction to decimal it does that as well okay so you've got all those sort of options that, that, that you can do there just have a play around with it and and, and, and just have a look at, at different options um, I won't speak about all the options now. I'll be doing another um, tutorial on, on each of these things. Um, the next tutorial will be on equations because that's probably the most important part. Um, so just a, a couple of, of pointers here to remember. Um, first of all, number one, when you turn your calculator on, um, you need to go into um, setup, okay? Setup, which you get there from doing shift and then the menu button. You want to change um, the, oops, the sorry the angles into degrees. You want to um, also, if we just go back to that, um, we said we also wanted to change the display. So the display, we want to change that to norm two. Okay, um, that's the most important part for setting your calculator up each time. Um, hopefully, you, you found this uh, useful. Um, please watch the other tutorials to help you with the other areas of this calculator.